morning people, it's confession time. I have to admit, as you might be able to tell, that I'm probably not the tidiest person. Although I like to think I can be, and I'd really like to be. Um, there's a whole list of excuses, and one of those I kind of need to tackle today. This is my workshop. It's also our garage space, and bikes and kids stuff is in here. It's also got our freezer and our washing machine, our boiler room area, a huge great water tank, loads of kitchen units ready for another project. So it's a multi-purpose space and that's where the problem lies. The last thing I want to be is ungrateful for the space we've got. You know, we're really blessed to have this big house and we know we're fortunate to have space like this, but it's just not working. It's not a good environment to work in and it's not productive as far as projects go and videos and all the stuff that you guys get to uh, benefit from. So we've got to do something about it. Now today I've just got to have a tidy up. There's just massive fallout still in here from the van project. Uh, off cuts of timber everywhere because I was just trying to get everything in the dry and out of, out of eyesight for, um, for the summer. As well as being just unexcusable background for YouTube videos. Another reason to have a clean workspace is that, you know, if a friend pops around to borrow a tool, they can get in and I can find stuff to lend them without having to navigate over all sorts of junk. Uh, and like last weekend, I sent my dad back to get the chainsaw and some other bits. And I had to like, I had to FaceTime him whilst he navigated his way through here to say, watch out for that, don't touch that. Uh, it's up here, it's under there. And um, it just took, everything takes so much longer when you've got a messy space. So my pitch is gonna be this. We need a new space. Right, so here is where my request for help begins, or advice. Uh, we've done the YouTube channel for about five years, maybe a bit longer, and in that time we've, uh, I guess we've done three, 400, 350 videos or so, but we haven't really chased down sponsorship, we weren't up for that sort of gig, or certainly not to start with. So um, th there's no income generated from it. We don't have a product to sell. We don't have a Patreon type account or a donations page or anything like that. And, and that's fine, we've, we've not done it for that reason. Um, but it's seriously becoming an expensive hobby because I'm putting more time into it, but that doesn't really generate in a pro proportionate amount of income unfortunately. I think this workshop, this workshop I've been talking about for two, three years, that it's always been in the pipeline. I think now is the time that we need to just bite the bullet and make that next step. Man, I was meant to be tidying up as I went and talk whilst I tidy. That hasn't really worked, has it? Oh, I think autumn is gonna be a good time to tackle that. Um, but as always, there's a cost to that, both in time and, and effort and money. And, and that's where I think I need a bit of advice. And I wanna pitch this to you, because we get emails all the time, how can they support us, you know, or um, can we uh, contribute in any way? And I've always said no, I just said, you know, we're happy for people to just gain from the videos and, uh, and that's where it will end. But I think we're at a point now where we've got such a good following of really like-minded people that perhaps we can knit it all together a bit more. Now I've been looking into the whole Patreon thing for a while and I didn't want to do that too prematurely. So that is an option um, and that's a way that people can just, uh, a pound or a couple of quid a month, uh, they can support the channel and there'll be bonus content or um, kind of uh, live feeds and uh, just bonus bits for those uh, people who who are Patreons of the channel. So that's one option. Another option would just be to have a straightforward donations type page on the website, uh, which we're way behind on the website anyway. Um, so that's one way of doing it, but that's a little bit um, 
I don't know, I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. The other one was people are saying I'll do a ne another big project, for instance the workshop, and set up a funding page. And that just seemed a bit odd because funding pages, you know, if you're launching a new project or uh, product or you're a charity or raising money for a really decent cause, that's how it sits in my head. Whereas this just, it just doesn't seem right to do that route. This space I'm in right now is structurally unsound. It's got an ancient asbestos roof, which has got to come off. Uh, and the whole thing needs to be gutted, knocked down, rebuilt whatever in the future so that this isn't a long-term solution to have the workshop in here it's done us well but we need to just move on so the workshop is going to be similar size but much more dedicated space without everything else being stored in there and it's directly outside and a lot of the groundwork's been done there so the build shouldn't take too long the design is done in my head and on sketchup and things uh, and it will be a great series in itself i'm sure um there is a little hidden agenda behind the workshop which is that um, I'm making it in a mobile way. So the whole thing is made in a modular way so it could be extended uh, but also it's removable. So if we, this is just rumour, but if we were to sell this house and build our own house uh, in years to come then we could take it with us and it would be um, a great site office or workshop to start off um, whilst we do the build. So that's just kind of one harebrained idea, but uh, that that's part of the design has been so it can actually be taken down and put up, but it is a very permanent building still. Which then it will just be geared up. I can go out in the morning, flick on a camera, all of the studio lights will be there and we can just start making, start shooting videos and uh, and getting more content out. What I'm asking really is how are we going to get to this point where we can build this workshop. I don't think it's going to be that expensive and I want to do it in a way that it is a series in itself. People can follow along and the whole design that I've come up with for the workshop could be adapted into a garage, a small shed, a garden office, a studio. It's kind of a multi-purpose um, kind of design. So I think the series in itself is going to be beneficial but what it results in is going to be the key thing. Uh, getting back to it, uh, let me know what you think. Do we go Patreon uh, route and get people to kind of contribute on a monthly basis and they get bonus content and all those sort of things? Do we treat this office, uh, this workshop, as a standalone little project people can just chip in on? Uh, I could even kind of start thinking, well, maybe we just do it so everyone buys a a stud or a joist and uh, it wouldn't take long, you know, 100 people doing that. Uh, would get it done and even once I've built all the different module module uh, modular sections of it uh, I might even be able to get a few people uh, some of our followers subscribers to come over one weekend and we put it all up um, and kind of make that the, the, the part, end part of the project but that's got to be it let us know what you think of all this jibber jabber down in the comment section below and we'll be back to some more active DIY next time. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself, and we'll see you next time. What on earth do I do with this?